Okay, so you probably want to cut your tubing about this size. And you put the tubing through the stopper. Put the T above the lid. And the nozzle below the lid. So it's a little easier if you put the tubing in before cutting it. So use a longer piece. You gotta kind of muscle it in the stopper. And if it creases too hard, it will pinch and leak on the tubing. So try not to bend it. It does take some muscle. And then once you get it started, if you go ahead and cut the tubing how long you think you're gonna need it, Now you can use the T for leverage. Go ahead and put the T in. And with those, they're quick connect. They'll come on and off, but the first section in is not gonna be an airtight, watertight seal. You gotta go one further and click it in with a little muscle. Use a little muscle. Use the T as leverage kind of wiggle this through the stopper. Now you can drill these stopper holes bigger if you want, but uh, you're not gonna have, necessarily have a watertight seal. So we only drill them barely at a quarter inch or, or a little more than a quarter inch. This is gonna provide for easy access to look below your lid at your nozzle, even when the system's on. You can see how the spray looks. And these nozzles take a little muscle as well. You want them to be fully on. And that's it.